happy Saturday morning. And uh, John went shopping this morning. I kind of cleared out Walgreens. Today Walgreens went down to 70% off. I was hoping for 90, but I'll take 70. And I figured I should swoop in and grab what I can. And Ben encouraged this, by the way. <laughs> She's the Halloween person. She was home with Tegan. Tegan had kind of a rough night. He has a little head cold. Yeah. And you know how it gets kind of stuffy after dark. Yep. I think we're all coming down with it, I to think be honest, so. because I was very congested last night, too. <laughs> but anyway, I had to make a run to Walgreens to get NyQuil. Go ahead, color. The funny thing is, the, the NyQuil medicine was the most expensive thing <laughs> I bought at Walgreens. <laughs> so anyway, we got some big guys here. Look at that. This is like a very happy Grim Reaper. It is. So, can you put a light in it, maybe? He has a button on his tag. I'm trying to... Oh, 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 okay. Okay, let's see. LED light up hanging, try me. Ooh, nice. <laughs> He's not real, buddy. So That's sound neat. activated. Cool. So we'll stick him over in the pile. Yeah, the hmm. challenge for Ben is going to be <laughs> where to put it all. <laughs> okay, we also got gloom over here. Look at this guy. Nice. He has another button. Headlights up and play spooky sounds. Whoa. Wow, his chest lights up too. Neat. So those are all originally 25 and then 70% off. What, well, they must have been like five dollars or something. They weren't very much. And you got this pumpkin guy. What does he do? Probably the same thing. Oh. Need. Probably by next Halloween, we're probably gonna be hanging outside. So yeah. The sound functions are probably not gonna work very good. No, probably not. He's a little chipped from a whole season at Walgreens. He's probably been out at Walgreens since August. Yeah, but probably. The look for these actually. Uh... Yeah, it works out. Okay, let's see what else I got. Something not as spooky, but I couldn't resist are the Mickey. And mini jack o' lanterns. Aww, how cute! Well, I thought we guys also we have a Mickey and Minnie inflatable around we here. We do. So I thought th these would look nice around there. Mm -hmm. Do you see Mickey and Minnie? These were originally fifteen dollars. Nice. Are they outdoor use? I think so. Oh, you gonna help? Yep, it says for indoor or outdoor use. Awesome. I, I knew you thought this was a clown wig at first. <laughs> I got the skull wreath. The that's awesome. Skulls. Yeah. Oh, that, that's Dad and Mama's medicine. We'll need that later tonight. <laughs> the only non Halloween thing that I bought. You can imagine my uh, cart at Walgreens was like overflowing. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't attached in there. You can take him out. Yay! I know these were two ninety rang up for two ninety nine a piece. You wanna play with Jack? These guys will be coming in the house. Yes. Because they're nightmare before Christmas. So you can technically have them up for Christmas too. I didn't realize uh someone had ripped him out of the box. That's alright. Checking it out. But he seems to be in good shape. Walgreens has a whole display of Christmas-related Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Not Halloween, but Jack's all dressed up as Santa. Oh, nice. The Walgreens exclusive vinyl Tsum Tsum set. Oh, yay! That was only $5. Yay! I'd been waiting all season for that, but I couldn't justify paying $17 for it. Hot Topic has an exclusive vinyl set out right now, too, that I shared on Twitter that I want. I also got two of the great pumpkin pop Funkos of Snoopy and Charlie Brown. These are marked down to $2.99 a piece. How could I resist? 
I was trying to stay away from indoor stuff because we had literally like three big totes of indoor stuff that we didn't even go through this year. But how could I pass these up? These are the yard, the yikes in the yard, the yard stakes I was telling you about. Pumpkins. I think there were three pumpkins and one skull. Pumpkin, pumpkin. I'm sure you could find a use for those. I got the, the Jack Skellington pumpkin head inflatable. This is just a little one, you can tell by the box. He is, let's see, 2.62 feet tall. So he's not super big. So he, yeah, but that would be cool though. It's just a giant pumpkin. I got a few of these. I mean, these probably would have been sticking around till 90% off. Mm -hmm. These and the styrofoam gravestones are always the last thing to linger around at places like Jake a lot. Mm -hmm. But I figure I'd get a couple. These rarely last more than a season. Yeah. Especially these have glitter on them. Oh yeah, they won't be glittery very long. But I got a pumpkin. I got a owl. I got like a road sign. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Count Dracula Drive, Wicked Way, Haunted Highway, and Jack-O-Lantern. <laughs> you may actually have all that set up. I know. And Keegan, what's this? Ooh. So, these are only like a buck a piece, so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use that sign to direct my decoration next year. Now this is the one we were waiting like all season to drop. Originally $50, this is the Jack Skellington Airblown. So he rang up for $14.99. Five feet tall, so he's not super big. I was hoping he was like a giant one. But Ben, we finally got him. He's as tall as me. And I think this, nope, we also have the Sally Tsum Tsum. That was also $2.99. I didn't realize all four of them weren't pumpkins, so I was checking them out. <laughs> well, I could see why you would think that was a pumpkin. It's like the same exact yeah. packaging. So Ben, you gotta find a place for all this new Halloween stuff. I think this is probably the last of it. This is awesome, I have some work to do, I guess. I have to put all this stuff away. I'm definitely going to use the direction sign to help me decorate next year. That'll be awesome. So much stuff. Yes. Ben wants the cool Halloween house next year. Yeah, I do. He wants to have the rest of having all the coolest Halloween stuff and giving out the best candy. Yep. That's my goal. I'm going to start it next year. I'm going to have the kids around town start spreading rumors about how awesome the house is. And I think it's time we go inside because it's kind of chilly and all three of us are in the middle of catching colds or having colds. So while Tegan and Ben were taking it easy today, I think all three of us are coming down with this congested head cold. We had one after we got home from Florida back in September and now it seems to have struck again. I can feel it right up here. My nose isn't really running but I can feel it in my sinuses. Oh. <sighs> But I've been working all day at the old house. I think there's only one more day left. I think if me and Ben get up there for like an afternoon for a couple hours, there's not much left. Just a couple air conditioners and there's some stuff on the wall we have to take off like shelves. But other than that, I think we're almost done and I think we're gonna be finally out of there and we can finally put it up for sale and hopefully sell it really quick. Because having two house payments, not fun. I guess let me put that out there. So right now I'm heading to Jen and Ryan's house to do a little Adventures in Puppy Sitting Part 2. Should be fun. I'll try not to lock myself out this time, but we'll see. Look at these beggars. Ryan told me they've already been fed. And look, they're all over me like I'm going to give them some food. Oh boy. Let's see. Oh, they left me $10. And that's our food for the morning. <laughs> Here's my payment right here, Halloween candy. Get a little congested. I stopped at the grocery store and got a sandwich because I don't feel like cooking anything. And I think I'm just gonna let the dogs out for a minute and then 
watch TV the rest of the night. Sounds like my plan. Okay, we just went out for a little potty break, and they're still acting like they haven't been fed in a week. Lily, in fact, grabbed her bowl off the counter and plopped it on the floor. Come on, guys. Stop trying to fool me. Ah. <sighs> I, my original plan was to go to Dunkin' Donuts and get that turkey feast sandwich that I've been dying to try. But I went through the drive-thru and they were all out of the kibata, bun, kibata buns for today. So I got the grocery store equivalent, which I'm sure is not going to be as good. But like I said, I didn't want to cook anything in the oven. So I got this little snack platter with triscuits and pepperonis and cheese and grapes. And a bag of Doritos. Ah, all right. So there's supper. I, oh, I don't feel too good. I'm all stuffy. Don't tell Jenna and Ryan, but I totally gave them a little bit of food so they quit begging. They don't watch these videos anyway. Look how festive Jenna's living room looks. Oh, and there's her, all her Disney medals. But she hung these fall leaves. I wonder if she did that just for me. Okay, now it's time for a little relaxing. Right, Lily?